So after a lot of thought and deliberation and a lot of crazy setups, I think that looks pretty cool if you ask me, but uh, it took me a while, I sat on it, a lot of sleepless nights, and I decided, you know what, Kashif can come to my birthday party. Uh, only only because of this game that we had, uh, which I'm actually going to go ahead and play back right now. Okay, so he was like, hey, I want to do this Final Frontier thing, and I was like, okay, so I was like, pick a tier, and uh, we'll kind of go from there, we'll kind of see what you want to do, and he's like, oh, I want to play Enyu. I was like, okay, and uh, shout out to Cap, who actually ended up giving me this team like uh, 10 minutes before. I had a lot of these pokes, I just didn't think of like putting them together um, I guess, in the way that he did, but, uh, they were pretty cool, and, uh, it turns out that he ended up bringing, I think, what, one, two, no, two of the same things as me? What was it? Uh, Golurg, Zangoose, we took this battle the other night, and it was like, whatever. So, uh, why the hell did I leave so much time at the beginning? I don't know. I guess I just wanted to say that this is... Did you stop waving? Okay, so, got a game here against Kashif, and we got that nice new background. Oh, and videos are gonna be on the right now, because this is kind of what's most convenient to me, so I keep flip-flopping. I really don't care. But, he's gonna lead off with Golurk. I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with, uh, Embor, and I think he probably expects me to be faster than this thing. I'm not. I have max HP. I think the set that Cap gave me has a little more speed in it, but I forgot to click set, because Pokegen is weird like that. But, gonna go for Flare Blitz. Does half the freaking samurai just easy right off the bat and I don't know why he left it in I guess I just really didn't want anything else on my team to take a hydro pump or anything like that and I was like okay you know what maybe he might over predict maybe he might do something else yeah second turn cash of doing that no not gonna happen so I end up losing out on this thing but at least I get to see that it's life orb and not scarf or specs or anything like that I'm actually, this seems kind of silly, but I'm going to go into my Probo Pass because it's specially defensive, and I think I'm going to get the opportunity to set up the Stealth Rocks, or I think I tried, I tried D-Waving, I guess that was kind of obvious, or maybe going for the Volt Switch. Uh, he's going to go for the Earthquake, I think I decided to set up Rocks here, and I'm the one that actually gets up the Rocks and not him, which I think is freaking hilarious because I normally don't set up hazards that much. I'm getting better with it though, I promise. But um, I'm going to go ahead and set him up now and uh, I'm losing out on pokes. I, I hadn't played. This was like the first series game I'd played in like six weeks. I've been I've been busy as fuck. But it takes me out with an earthquake and at this point I was like, you know what? Fuck this game. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm completely done with this game because I lost two kind of important things. But I'm going to go into my own garlic. Golurk, Golurk, no, Golurk, and uh, I think I'm just gonna end up going for the Shadow Punch. Kind of obvious, but he decides to go into his Zangus, and I thought, okay, my Golurk has a Colbert Berry to be able to take on the Night Slash and then just kind of go from there because it's not Stab and uh, it'll kind of do that. But he switches out, predicting me to stay in, and uh, ends up uh, going to this thing to take the Drain Punch, and I was like, I didn't really think that was that obvious. I'm not privy to what is really good in NU. I just made a lot of pokes that I like and uh, they ended up being NU, so that's what my NU boxes look like. I don't really have anything catered to the NU metagame uh, until now. So I got this and I'm just gonna end up going for the Ice Punch. do get a freeze which is kind of unfortunate and I kinda wanna say it mattered like near endgame but at the same time I don't because he only gets frozen for one turn anyways. I over predict and think he's gonna go back into his goaler for whatever reason. Actually you know what? He ended up thawing out on that first turn so that shit didn't fucking matter at all. Or, you know what, maybe he stayed frozen on that first and I wasn't really paying too much attention. But, he gets off the Giga Drain, gonna get a lot of that HP back in the first place. And, uh, I think I try to take him out with an Earthquake here. They do the same amount of damage, so I was like, whatever. I think he ends up going out into his Rotom... F and I was so, so, so fucking close to going for Drain Punch predicting this, but, uh... Whatever, didn't happen, that's fine, he ends up taking me out with the Blizzard. Blizzard's got the shaky accuracy, it's really powerful and shit, but um, naturally you're going to expect a couple misses here and there. I'm leaning on this wall, that is a bad habit that I probably should not be developing. But, going to go into my Behiem, and I think he's going to miss a Blizzard here as I set up the Trick Room. Now this is important, because what this does, gives me an opportunity to just bend his entire team over backwards and just... Can go to town on it because I get the nasty plot up. Uh, Blizzard, because he missed the first one, is now going to be like over a two hit KO uh, with lefties because that's the item I have on it. It seems kind of silly to have it with analytic, but if you don't get the trick room up, psychic and signal beam are still boosted. You could run the other abilities, but it's like, okay, you know what, you're not going to get the opportunity to set up like that all the time. But now that I have a nasty plot, that's an easy KO, and he's basically just going to be sending in shit to die. Uh, he does have priority in the form of Samurai. 
uh, with the Aqua Jet and probably Zangoose with the Quick Attack depending on his set. But uh, he's going to send this thing in. Uh, I think the reason he took so long to calc this or just actually come up with the switch in general, I think he was trying to figure out whether or not uh, Rox would put his Samurai into Torrent range, which I think kind of played in big with how much damage I did there, because it does end up doing a lot of damage, but I end up living it, end up taking it out, and just like that, I regained some of the initial momentum that I lost at the beginning of the game. So, he gets to go and do Zangus here, if he has quick attack, he's going to go for it, I think he does have quick attack, so he's got, probably got, I don't know, four moves, fucking facade, close combat, night slash, quick attack, or maybe foregoing one of those for source dance, I don't know. And uh, Trick Room wears out, so that kind of sucks, but I get to go into my Masharna. This is a weird Masharna. This is something that Cap made. You guys should know this by now if you know Cap and you know the battles that we have. But this is a Life Orb Masharna, and this does a lot of damage to Golurk. And I was like, why would you put a Life Orb on a Masharna? I looked at its special attack stat, and I was like, okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's got a lot of HP, and it's got a lot of this other shit. But uh, he's going to go for an Earthquake. It does a lot of damage, because Golurk's really good on the offensive side, but uh, it, Psychic's going to be an easy 2-hit KO. I don't really know what his Stealth Rocker was. It could have been this, for all I know, but uh, it's not really that big a deal anymore. So, this thing ends up dying. Zangus is still very much a big fucking problem, because I thought I was going to get swept by this thing. It, you're going to see that it's actually going to come down to a speed tie between my Zangus and his Zangus, whoever takes out who. If he wanted to go for a Guts Boosted Quick Attack, he could have, but that meant that he would have automatically surrendered... Uh, the speed tie at that point, because there's no way he can take me out from full with it. Just, uh, not, no, not gut, excuse me, toxic boost, boosted quick attack, but I got my own going on, I don't know if he's adamant or if he happens to be jolly max speed or whatever, if that really was a true speed tie, but mine ends up winning that exchange, I guess, take him out with a close combat, probably could have just taken him out with any other move, but, uh, I kind of felt close combat was going to be the more secure thing, and this kind of sucks, this is my last thing left, he brings in this thing, and I'm pretty sure I can take him out from that range with the Toxic Boosted Facade. To facade boosted by the Toxic, and then Toxic Boost has the ability. It's going to do a lot of damage. But uh, if he had Sturdy on this thing, it's broken by the Stealth Rocks, which is one of the really important things that I wanted to have happen in this game. Because Sock and Enyu is a fucking bastard. So, uh, take this thing out with the Facade. I thought he misclicked when he did it. He told me he was actually getting Regenerator HP on his Amoogus, which is very smart. Because now it's basically back up to full. And it's going to be close, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to take a Giga Drain or whatever he wants to throw at me if he does have Sludge Bomb, which he does reveal right now. As you can see, the re Regenerator actually did end up mattering, and it let him live with a pretty reasonable chunk that he didn't have before. And I'm left really low, and I'm thinking, well, that's it, I'm done with this game, I'm fucking walking away. Except I live it on one cash if I told you I lived on one. And uh, I'm going to go for the facade and uh, take him out for the win. So that was a very, 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 very narrow 1-0. And that's why I say that Kashiv is now uh, re-invited to my birthday party again. Just because, uh, yeah, it's a good game and stuff. So I really don't know what to say. I'm not the hugest fan of this setup. And it took me like, would you cut that? <laughs> Stop waving. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this game, uh, you're welcome to uh, go ahead and leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, and do your thing. I'm not sure if and when I'm going to do more picture in pictures, but people, I've had a lot of people asking me, when are you going to go back to doing that? And I was like, you know what? I'll get out the equipment and uh, I'll give it a shot. So if audio sucks, I'm sorry. I'm kind of far from the snowball, I guess. Um, but that's about as good as I can do. So, anyways, uh, that'll do it for today, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Really? That's like in the video like twice. <laughs> like twice. I'm probably gonna leave this whole part in too.